What's up, y'all? So, we did a little bit of a, a bad thing this weekend. I call myself being grown, going outside, and completely neglected my seedlings. I did not water for both Saturday and Sunday, or even yesterday, Monday. Um, so, <laughs> I've got some crusty little seedlings here. So today I need to reseed some things. I need to up pot some, all of my tomato plants. I didn't realize how much water was still in this pan, but we're going to up pot all of our tomatoes and we'll do some other tasks. We'll figure it out along the way. But first of all, I want to say Happy spring equinox. Hopefully I'll have this video up today. But um, I'm really excited. First of all, start your day off with something positive. Today I had the inspiration to have like a really colorful spring salad. I'll show y'all because I have a little bit left. This is what she looking like. But I shredded up some carrots, uh, cabbage, and I roasted some um, asparagus, red onions, and beets. Next time, I don't think that I want anything roasted in it. Added some parsley, made my own dressing, and boom. Very nourishing spring veggie salad. Oh, oh and I also added barley, which I was on the fence about barley or beans because I've been seeing all of these salads, these bean salads on TikTok. But I didn't really want beans because I know how be me and beans get along. It, it don't always work out. So yeah, feed yourself something good today. But all right, anyways, back to the task at hand. The first thing that I, I'm going to do, I don't know... Uh, I feel like I can probably just go on ahead and direct sow some borage. So I'm not going to restart more of that, but I definitely want to get some hibiscus restarted indoors because I know that these will take a little bit more time. So I'm just going ahead, go in my seed stash here. Get my I don't know where those seeds are, but I said that I was going to do better about wearing gloves. And today I absolutely have to because I got a little boo-boo on my hand here. So let's do that. Let's do better with our lives. So what have you guys been up to here in central Ohio? The weather is all over the place, child. Last weekend, it was beautiful, springy. Um, and then we have temperatures projected low 20s every night for the next week. And then it looks like it's going to make a slow climb back up. So I'm really hoping <laughs> that that slow climb is giving us reassurance that spring is actually here to stay but i guess we'll just have to see all right so the goal this year is to have two of each type of tomato variety um i have more unsuccessful germinations than i realized that i did so in some cases, I might do three. I don't know. It's just going to depend. I am struggling wearing these gloves. Honestly, they're making me hot. So this little situation here, I really tried, y'all. But I'm, I'm getting hot. My body is getting hot. Okay, so let's start off with our slicers. So my orange jazz and the evergreen was a little shoddy on germination. I do have just one little squirt here for the evergreen and then the orange jazz. One cell did really well and I at least had two of those. So let's go on ahead and get those up potted. And 
And I did have to moisten this soil some because they were whoa out job. Just going ahead and make some space. And with tomatoes, you can bury these very, very deep. And that's what I intend to do. And I will end up having to top this with more soil, but here we go. It's always heartbreaking to have to like let go of these seedlings that look so healthy and happy, but I don't have just a whole lot of space to just like keep these. I could gift them to friends and family and clients and things like that, but I'm trying to be reasonable again with my space. So, I don't know. Actually, I will go on ahead and up pot those for my mom. I think that she will like the Cherokee purple. Now, we have the Black Beauty, which is one of my faves. So I really wanna make sure that I have these in my garden this year because last year I made the mistake of giving my Black Beauties away. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that this year. This year I will have Black Beauty in my garden. All right, so I got all of my tomatoes potted up that I wanted to get potted up today. I still need to up pot my, where are they, where'd they go? My um, ground cherries. However, those are moving a little bit slower. So I think I'm going to put those on a heat mat, see if that helps aid in germination because I know that those enjoy a little bit more warmth. Um, but for now, we can go on ahead and up pot some basil. I am going to prick out eight individual basil plants and then everything else that is like still clumped together I will leave it clumped together and maybe stick them in a pot or the green stalk or something like that but I do want my basil plants to get um a lot bigger than they were last year because I feel like I cheated myself in a big way so this first variety is just your traditional Genovese. I think that's how you said that. Uh, just your basic basil. And then I also have the Mamalo basil, which is growing a little lower here. So I'm assuming the Mamalo is like a lettuce leaf type, I assume. Um, I have not grown it successfully before. So I'm hoping that we do well. But for now, let's go ahead Pull this out. I probably should not have watered these as much as I did because that's going to make the roots just a little stressed, but it should be fine. So we have three plants in this first one, and it's just that easy to pull apart. I'll do an up close view here. So you want to remove a little bit of the soil but just kind of shaking it off and that's where like it would be a lot easier to just have some um, drier soil but you can see we've got some good roots one there so now we have four of that type so this one has less soil on it good roots so we are just going to feed the roots down into the hole and i can bury these guys a little deeper as well and boom we've got a nice little individually planted basil plant so let me move more of this soil out the way feed these roots down in boom another little individual guy this is another one of those plants that i would suggest to start at home as opposed to buying pre-started because 
basil wants to grow, it grows super abundantly and very fast and it can be really expensive at the stone. And so we have one clump left. I'll probably up pop that and give that to my mom because again, my goal is to like help her out with her porch garden. So I'm trying to make like a nice little collection of plants that we can set up for her at her apartment. And if you guys would like to see that in video, let me know down in the comment section below because at this point, a majority of my seed starting stuff or most of my gardening stuff is no longer in containers for the most part. It's mostly raised bed gardening. And I'm about a thousand percent sure that you guys, some of you guys can benefit from seeing somebody with a smaller space. And I would love to share that with you if you guys want to see that. There's something about doing these kind of tasks on video. Can I be honest with you guys for a moment? That can feel very repetitive, um, but I don't know who's seeing my channel for the first time. And like, I can really get in the, the frame of mind of like, nobody cares, right? Nobody cares what the heck I'm doing, blah, 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 blah. I'm just being real with you guys right now. This ain't got nothing to do with gardening, but recently i have been trying to get out of that that habit of sabotaging myself um i started this journey on my channel believe it or not it has been about nine years at this point that i've been oh shucks i just broke one of my okra plants oh, dang it that's okay i'll have three um nine years and I'm not at the level that I would like to be, if I'm being frank, right? Because this stuff, filming and sharing this content definitely takes time and effort and whatnot. But I decided this year that I was just going to share no matter what. And a part of that sharing no matter what is like battling myself about um not telling myself nobody cares which is hard <laughs> it's hard to not sabotage yourself but even as i'm doing this activity i'm like i mean i've shared with these guys that how i up pot things before but i then like also reeled myself back in at the same time like no, people do care. Like, I have a decent, you know, subscriber count. Not that everybody's watching all the time, but I do have people that show up for me on a regular basis to view whatever I have going on. And I just want to take the moment to let you guys know I'm a real person. I'm sure y'all know that, which is probably why y'all like me. <coughs> Humble flex. Um... I'm trying to think what else okay but yeah so I'm like I'm trying not to allow myself to overthink this stuff. my hibiscus seeds have to be in here because I don't know where the heck else they can be so let's hunt them out while we chat more but yeah I'm like girl what is this what is this thought pattern like that keeps popping up and like the only way to overcome these thought patterns is to do the do the stuff that's making you afraid of sharing in the first place. And so whether or not certain people care doesn't really matter. I'm going to continue to share anyways. Okay, so real quick. I need to re-sew Amish paste seeds. I kind of I just remembered when I seen this packet. So we'll pull that out. Okay. Anyways, I just went ahead and put in some more Amish paste tomatoes seeds. I don't know why these didn't germinate the last time, but I'll sew these a little bit 
thicker this time to hopefully get some better results. There we go. Found them. Okay. They were stuck behind another another seed packet. Anyways. Um so some of these guys. I'm going to put two per hole. <sighs> All right. And as for my leftover tomatoes, um, I think I'm going to just create a little four pack for my mom. I think a four pack would be good. And maybe I'll make a four pack for my neighbors because I just seen that they dropped off some soil and, or they just got a drop off of soil and um, some two by fours. It looks like they're building a garden. So that makes me really excited. And I want to give them some tomatoes just to share my excitement that they're starting a garden too. Um, I'm sure they'll appreciate it. So that's what I'm going to do with the remaining tomatoes. I'm just going to say, hey, it's a mystery pack. I honestly... <laughs> I don't have the tags for each one anymore stuck in here. So I don't know what the heck this is. But like I said, I think that they will appreciate it. Um, I believe that is all that I'm going to get done today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, up potting slash intrusive thoughts <laughs> video. <laughs> If you guys want more like topic videos, I don't do just a whole lot of like just chit chatting about random things. Um, I want to open up a little bit more. And I always say this crap. I always say I'm going to open up more. But like for real, if you guys want to hear a specific topic, be it self care, intrusive thoughts, mental health, whatever, um, let me know because I'm doing all of this to better myself and to to help calm my mental health or to you know as self-care plainly put um i thank you guys for stopping by i wish you all health wealth and prosperity and until the next time peace